Hi! If you do not know me, my name is Sara. I am a full-time college student and the single mommy of a one and a half year old. This is my bedtime facial care routine. I run my washcloth under very hot water and then I squeeze all of the water out so that I have a steam rag of sorts. I let this sit on my face to open my pores up before I go in with my soap. I currently use Cetaphil's Gentle Daily Cleanser. I rub that all over my face. I make sure I get it all the way back to the edges of my face as well because I do break out along my hairline if I miss that. I make sure I get my forehead which is a problem area for me. I get a bit of warm water in my hands and run it all over my face very quickly just to help this cleanser suds up before I go in with my brush. This is the Sonicleer Petite Brush in the print Purple Rain, which I honestly just bought because, hello, Purple Rain prints. I bought this brush maybe like two years ago, so I am not sure if they still have this print or not, but if they do, I will link that down below. This brush has three different intensity levels for when you are washing your face. I also like the fact that it will beep when it is time for you to change sections on your face. I definitely spend the most time using this brush and making sure I am getting all of the dirt off of my face and really cleansing my pores. This brush does a great job with that. Don't worry, this video is not over yet, but... If you are interested in more videos on self-care, curly hair care, veganism, life as a single mother, or just want to come along for the ride as my daughter and I grow, please be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the family. We would absolutely love to have you. My daughter is currently a year and a half old. I am 21 years old, so we have got a lot of growing to do, and I am so excited to share it with you. To get all of the soap off of my face, I now go back in with a very hot washcloth. Again, I squeeze most of the water out so it is not too wet. That way when the soap is off, my face is not soaking wet and I can proceed with the next step. I want to keep my pores open in this process so that any impurities can come to the surface and so that my skin can better absorb the following products. Next, I go in with my Thayer's Witch Hazel with Cucumber. This is an alcohol-free toner that I find really helps remove scars and dark spots. Elasticity oil. This contains ingredients such as sunflower seed oil, vitamin E oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, and so on. I struggle with dry skin, so finally I go in with my Pond's moisturizer and a single drop of tea tree oil to seal in the moisture. My acne is very dependent on my hormone levels, so I really only break out during a certain time of the month. My bumps are also more noticeable because they have just been subjected to heat. Typically by the morning, all the swelling has gone down and some of the pimples have gone away. There's nothing necessarily wrong with the products I am currently using. However, I did just order some new ones that I'm very excited to try, so stay tuned for that. As always, thank you so much for tuning in with me today. I am sick, so I am currently in the process of losing my voice. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and connect with me in the comments.